Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and welcome to this episode of Compute, my video series on cloud computing and uh, different computing topics ranging from AI to machine learning. So in this episode, I'm just going to be doing a quick, very quick video on a Liquid Sky uh, bug that you get when logging in. If you click the login button and utilize the already existing fields for your uh, input data for your password, uh, then you will get an error 401. I'm going to skip a bit where I'm entering my uh, where my e email and stuff is showing. Uh, then I'll showcase the error that you're getting. So if you just click next because it remembers your password, you that you think that oh sure I should be able to just join right in. If that happens, you're going to get error 401. So it's going to be called HTTP error 401. To sim solve that, simply retype your password manually. Uh, there's an error in their system. Uh, not sure why. I don't know if it's corrupting the autosave password. If it's not, you know, hashing it correctly or encrypting it correctly on your local machine. Uh, hopefully, they're doing something along those lines. It's not just being stored as plain text, of course. Um, but for whatever reason, the auto remember is failing. So just go ahead and retype it in manually. Or if you use something like LastPass, just copy it from your password manager manually, and it'll work just fine. So if you are getting HTTP error 401. That's how to fix it. It's uh, just a simple error. It uh, looks like some oversight. This is just the very beginning of the beta. Uh, so I expect that's probably why uh, it should be something that should be probably be ironed out before too much longer. Uh, at least I'm hoping, it seems like it should be a fairly simple uh, error. Uh, it's very easy to know exactly what causes it, which is utilizing the already existing uh, password in the password field for the auto remember. Uh, so they should be able to track that down without too much trouble to what's causing that. Uh, so if you are getting that, that's how to fix it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If it was helpful, give it a big like and share it with anyone else that is interested in Liquid Sky if they encounter this problem too. Uh, if you are interested in all the different uh, content that Thought Provoking Tech is putting out, please consider subscribing. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of different Liquid Sky related content in the next coming weeks because Liquid Sky 2.0 beta just released. And it's a pretty massive beta. So until then, uh, stay tuned. I will be releasing more videos as time passes. And thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, Zach out.